So it's an interesting bout, and this is the main bout of the evening. El Palo walking onto the ring. Walking into the ring. Let's go into the ring to get the announcement from Ralph again. Thank you. 
back and uh, ladies and gentlemen we are back in uh, the commentary position this is the main event of the evening uh, the super flyweight wbc silverweight silver championship the super flyweight uh, wbc silver championship and this is the bout the main event of the evening you're welcome this is the spiritual home of boxing the Bukum boxing arena here in ghana and this is an international bout it's a pakistan and venezuela bout and uh, Khan, Tasif Khan, he has lost once, drawn twice, won 16 in his 19 professional fights. For Barreto, he has also fought 19 times, won 17 times, lost twice, never drawn in a bout. It's a 12 round bout, and we are in for a super action, Jose. This will be a compelling one. This will be a very competitive one. Both, record, both fighters coming into this bout with impressive records. A 40 year old coming up. Seven year old, talk about
on the sides, yellow and white strips on the side. It's in already an interesting one already, and boxers already trading some punches there. And this time they are a bit calm because they know it's a long distance to go. <laughs> yeah, it's a long distance to go, and we saw that fight uh, already, over there, but <laughs> that was unexpected. But then that was a huge one uh, from Khan, uh, who caught uh, his opponent off guard. Uh, but then uh, the referee checks if he's okay, and I think he's okay to now continue with the bout. for the ninth, Brahim Ait Aidi from Belgium, and he makes sure that David Barreto is okay. Now we are packing it, and it's Khan who is doing the chasing now. Khan doing all the attacking moments now, throwing some jabs there, and Barreto does that. Khan is a child power, and Barreto is an orthodox boxer, Cal combining very well now, and that's some good one to his credit, but not as effective because Barreto has got it under, I mean, uh, under, under cover with that guard of protection there, and then there was a bit of a low point from Khan. Dennis, Khan is an aggressive fighter. He fights with so much aggression. And tell you what, he, he's won the last 12 bouts. And that's quite impressive uh, from him. He's a 40-year-old, but he doesn't look like his age. He looks a bit younger than he, the way he looks. And you look at you know, how active he is and how he commands you know, um, the bout. That tells you how dominant of a fighter he is. It's going to be an interesting one. He goes down, but then Barreto is up again. It was quite, a bit of a slip. I don't think that was... It's been precarious from him. It looks like he's yet to find his feet in this particular one. Yes, literally, he's not really found his feet. He nearly went down, you know, and that's the second time it's happened in this particular bout. But then these two boxers are quite experienced. As you can see, Khan is the much uh, or the most experienced amongst the two. Uh, Barreto also has some quite experience over there. He has won 17 of his bout um yes if it's 17 uh, but then sorry he has 17 wins and 16 have been by way of knockout and that's an impressive 93 percent of all the bouts he's won 93 percent of the bouts he's won have been by way of knockout so he's a man who didn't take you all the way down the stretch but then he gets the job done as soon as he is able uh to sense that you do not have what it takes to stand it anymore this is the king of the rings and much credit to the promoters of this bout. It's not easy to host a WBC silver championship title in Africa. And of course in Ghana, we know that Ghana is the spiritual home of boxing. And we are in that place exactly, the spiritual home exactly, that is Boko. There is a Boko Boxing Arena. First round already gone. We are in for the second round. And talk of, I mean, age difference. Barreto is almost half younger. I mean, than the age of, you know, Khan. Exactly, but so, I mean, age, they tell, or they say all the time, it's just a number. We've seen the young ones actually dominate, you know, the older ones in the bout we've had so far tonight. Maybe the, this could be, you know, the, the one. Uh, that the older one or the experience would get uh, the, the better of the youth. Maybe let's hope it goes that way, but because we've seen uh, the lies of Adijat dominate, you know, we've seen the other ones, uh, including the, the prince, or then the prince of Nigeria himself also the dominate. King. The king, sorry, uh, <laughs> apologies. The king, okay. And, and the eight count is on. Eight count is on, Barreto. That's wrong. So like I said earlier on, it looks like literally he hasn't found his feet yet. He's quite uh, looking precarious in the first two rounds already. We've seen boxers who do not start bout so well, but then gradually they find themselves, you know, in their rhythm and they get going. But it hasn't been the case for Barreto and it's Khan who has been the oppressor. He keeps taking the game to his opponent who hasn't really found answers to all the questions he's been asking. Barreto is here to find his rhythm in this bout. Khan has been doing all the attacking, has been throwing all the unnecessary punches and he does a big one into the lower body of Barreto that sends him back into, onto the canvas again. This is about the third time Barreto is kissing the canvas, but he, say, he stays strong and Khan is, looks much readier for the title, he looks much hungrier for the title, he's chasing it like a lion, a wounded lion, 
puts Barreto on the rope. It's Khan again chasing it all around. Chasing Barreto all around. There's an interesting one. Barreto cannot defend himself. How long can he go on again? That has been a long-lasting question in all the bouts this night. And Barreto again has to defend himself again. Then he's, he's, he's under pressure. Punches. I believe he's under pressure. You can see the way he's trying to defend himself. And it hasn't been easy for him in the first two rounds at all. Uh, Khan has been, you know, he's, he's really worked on his body in this first two rounds. And you can see the way he's just trying to pin him, you know, to the ropes to get the better of him. He's been the, the oppressor in the first two rounds. He's really attacked. He's worked on him. He's gotten him down his knees a couple of times. And if he doesn't take care... Uh, he might retire um, in the opening exchanges or in the opening rounds. It's already round two, and Barreto showing signs of tiredness. Makan is showing no signs of tiredness, even though he's twice the he's almost twice the age of Barreto. He looks like the younger one. And again, Barreto goes down. This is a sucker punch, and he shakes his head. Would this be it for Khan? Would this be it for Barreto? And Rafi keeps counting. It's, it's, over. Over. it's over. It's over. It's over. There's a new champion. The new WBC Super Flyweight Silver Champion. It's Tahir Khan. We have a new champion in the king of the rings. It's over. That is, we saw it coming. I told you literally, he's yet to find his feet. And this ended so abruptly. We didn't expect this to end. It was supposed to be a 12 round bout. But already in round two, we've, we've seen the champion already. And Khan at age 40, uh, he's still strong. He's still the aggressive type. Like I said earlier on, he's still the man. Tasif Khan, the Pakistani born British international. And he has to, uh, the already titles he's won. Uh, he was once the super, the super flyweight world champion. Uh, that's the WBU. Uh, he was also won the Super Fireweight World Champion from the Global Boxing Union and also the Bantam World Champion from the World Boxing Confederation, that's the WBC, as well as the International Masters Champion in his division. So this is a man with a rich experience and as you can see, his experience on his side today. We've seen the youth dominate uh, against the aged, but this time around, the 40-year-old Khan came to the party. He came into this bout with everything and I think he was determined and finally he's been crowned champion again and to add to his titles let me also add that Khan Tasif Khan is the reigning WBO Africa Superfly weight champion and this is a champion who is not ready to give away or leave it, give his title to spare I, I, I met him yesterday, you know, during uh, the, uh, the way in and there's a guy who looks lesser, you know, he doesn't look his age, he looks way younger than his actual age and, you know, he's the champion, he's the man, he's the man to beat now. If you want to challenge him, just let him know, he's the man to take on now and I think he did everything right, he did everything right, he, he just didn't give allow uh, his opponent Pareto you know into the bout he just didn't allow him any sniff you know to attack him he was the one who did all the damage and finally <laughs> I think he deserves this he, he made it look this. so simple it was so see? easy from him no from round one mm. he made look he made it look so easy for him made it so easy and there uh, we will be confirming the new super flyweight WBC silver champion he will be confirmed and he will be crowned in a moment that will be the proudest moment in his career and that is to add to what you say Khan started boxing at the age of 10 so he's been boxing for the past 30 years three decades and that should oh. tell you that he is so experienced he is a very very experienced boxer he started boxing at a very tender age of 10 but he also pursued you know teaching in a primary school so he is also a teacher by profession so a teacher cool boxer but then you know he makes you feel the heat whenever you're in the ring with him oh my word his, his students would be proud of him right now 
He doesn't look his face. That's what baffles my mind. He's 40 years for crying out loud. Yeah. And he looks much younger. He looks so like younger. Him. You know, with that kind of energy he exerts on his opponent, you know, that's not the kind of energy you expect a 40 year old to exert whenever he's in a ring. But then I think he keeps himself in good shape, you know, and that's why he keeps going. At 840, he doesn't look like slowing anytime soon. And guess what he was teaching over there? He was teaching B. So he was a wow. physical education <laughs> instructor over there. And he also, he's a boxing, uh, a champion boxing fighter. And, you know, he's a champion. Everything shows that he's the man to beat. He's a champion indeed. And that is his moment. That is his moment. He adds to his numbers. 17 wins now, nine knockouts. Let's go into the ring and listen to the ring announcer as he confirms the title on the new champion. All hail the new champion. All hail the new champion. Ah, oh, hail the new world champion! And in the Citadel of Boxing, the spiritual home of boxing, a new world champion is crowned. Tasif Khan is the new WBC Silver Super Flyweight Champion. Congratulations to Khan. He deserves it. Congratulations, Tasif Khan. He is the man. At 40 years old, he keeps defying the odds. Coming up against um, Barreto, who's known as Apollo, uh, the chicken, uh, you know, because of the way you know he deploys that you know tactful uh, way of using a strict way of using those smart legs. But then I think he was no match for Khan tonight. Khan showed him that he was a real man. You know, he was he was better than him in all you know in all aspects of the bout tonight and it was it was just coming it was just coming going down three times i think the fourth one there was no way he was going to bail himself out of that i'm sure barreto uh, the press will be interested in what happened to barreto in the bout because like you said he was no match in this bout maybe there could be reasons that we are not privy to uh, barreto i mean if you have to, barreto explains what happened before the bout and psychologically why he how he prepared himself for, for yeah, exactly. like this. This, is a chance, this was a chance to be crowned the world champion. Exactly. And this is what the fight we want to do. Exactly. And it's a huge one. It's, 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 a, it's a super title. It's a huge one. Which means that, you know, it, he could challenge whoever has the real title. And that's, that's going to be a tough one for him. And at 27, you think that maybe he was the man to have, you know, gotten the better of the 40 year old. But that's interesting. So the good thing is that. There's a new world champion, Khan, living his dream now. And uh, we'll be live on Metro TV Ghana. We'll be live on Monarch Champions on YouTube. We've been doing this together. My name is Dennis Dennis Asajan. I've been doing this with my brother, Josiah. And we have been in commentary position. Josiah, let's run up. Let's wrap up. It's been a good night. The people of Bukum have accepted boxing and have accepted the king of the rings. Monarch events and promotions. Congratulations to all them for such a wonderful and a splendid organization. And our fans have gone. This has been incredible. All right, so this has wrap up. Thank you very much. And uh, it's been an interesting night. The news, the big news is that Tasif Khan is the new super flyweight WBC silver champion. Good night, and this has been a Monarch event and promotions.